Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Just TSC Analyst. This is Kirill, Eurovision fan from Belarus living in Germany. In today's video, we'll take a look at the Eurovision entry number five, and it's Georgia. Georgia will be represented by Nutsa Basuladza with the song Firefighter. Nutsa is actually just 27, but she already became a very well-established act in the ex-Soviet Union area. She took part in multiple famous shows in Russia, including New Wave, but she also even made her way to the United States, where she competed in the American Idol, where she reached the final, and where she even performed in a duet with Kylie Minogue. Boy, Her Eurovision entry Firefighter has been composed by a very famous Balkan songwriter, Darko Dimitrov. Darko is behind so many Eurovision songs, such as Loco Loco by Hurricane, <laughs> Nina Naina by Elena Risteska. <laughs> Runa by Nevena. And his most successful entry was Proud by Tamara Todeska. I am super curious to hear what his Georgian Eurovision entry will sound like. Darko is famous for his ballads, I would say, primarily, because we have already seen that the most successful one was for Tamara Todevska. But he also wrote so many amazing Balkan bops. Based on the name of the song Firefighter, I would rather expect it should be something up-tempo, especially taking into account that Nutsa herself has confirmed that she would like to perform an up-tempo entry. I can't wait to get right into this reaction because Georgia became a sort of underdog in the last five or maybe even ten years. However, Nutsa is such a well-established name that I can't even imagine her to have a weak son and not qualifying for the final. Let's see. I see. What a powerful beginning of the song. She will already show you her vocals right from the beginning, dragging your attention into the song, and then I think a huge explosion will come. Build empires just to watch them burn. Okay, the lyrics are sort of cliche, but that's fine. That's fine. If it's just a good pop, you know, then the lyrics are not that important. Really, really powerful beginning. You already want to get into this dancey mood, so like a typical Eurovision entry, but I am really enjoying it. I see it in the air, I see it in the air. I'm rising from the ashes like a phoenix, yeah. She looks so stunning. All these looks, basically, you can already take them right to Eurovision. She just has, I think, a tough choice to choose the best one out of them. Okay, in this part you can really feel the touch of Darko Dimitrov. I think that's actually not wrong, like this Balkan vibe, which is also some sort of more Eastern Oriental vibe, yeah, it also fits to what people would expect from Georgia. So I think maybe it was a clever decision to take such a known Balkan composer to compose the entry for Georgia, why not? Well, 
I have to say this instrumental part after refrain was slightly too long. Uh, I think it might already draw some attention away from her, but her vocals are absolutely stunning. The way how she sings with her chest voice is amazing. And I have seen some of her another live performance from another shows, you know, from Russia or US. She really has so much power in her voice. She's such a powerhouse. I just can't wait to hear her live at the Eurovision stage. Oh, wow, this note, th this belting, which she was doing here, it was really spectacular. I, I just wanted to say that the verse started to feel slightly, you know, repetitive, maybe a little bit boring, but this high note and this belting really elevated this a lot. And I think now we are jumping right into the second chorus. Some of these visuals with this rain, they look absolutely amazing. We all remember the last year's music video by Iru. This was the song uh, Echo. Which was also a powerful one with some great visuals. Unfortunately, we haven't seen any of those visuals on the Eurovision stage. I really hope that Nutsa will be not left alone on stage and that they will implement a lot of these amazing ideas also in Malmo. It is really intense. I think it is right into the alley of most of the Eurovision fans. I'm not sure if the song would really get so much popularity outside of the Eurovision community for me it feels as an entry, which generally Eurovision fans would gladly put into their top tens, but which will rather finish somewhere in the end of the final table. But at least in the final table, I think this is what really matters for Georgia this year. Some of this choreography, what she was doing, was so intense. It's close to impossible to sing well with this kind of choreography. But at least I could hear there was a lot of backup from the backing vocals. So I think if she will really show this kind of very active dancing in the end and then the backing vocals just take over, this should still be possible and will look great on Eurovision stage. Wow, what a powerhouse from Georgia. Wow, what a burning entry from Georgia this year. I am not really used to hear such such entries from Georgia. Georgia was really sending something rather unusual in all the last years, trying out maybe slightly alternative approach. This year they're going for like a typical Eurovision product. I hope this will finally bring them the place in the final. And now let's take a look at the lyrics of the song. So basically Nutsa is singing about saving the love, so saving the relationship which is about to break. It's not really a very deep meaning, yeah? So it's basically all about fighting the fires and trying to save the love. But this entry is not really about a deep meaning or a message. It's about transmitting this huge, powerful energy on stage to the viewers at home to make them feel what Nutsa feels and to force them to vote for her. So Georgia was lucky to be drawn second half of the second semifinal this year again. By the way, in the last five years, four times Georgia was performing in second half. So they're really very lucky with their draw, but unfortunately their results were not really showing that. So if we take a look at the results of Georgia in the last 15 years of Eurovision and especially in the last five years, you will see that Georgia is actually one of the least successful countries. Among 
all 16 entries taking part in the second semifinal this year, they're ranked just 15th. There is only one country below them, and that's Latvia. So it also puts them on place 29 from 31 country taking part in this contest semifinals. But if we take a look at the last 14 years, it actually puts Georgia slightly higher, one place higher among the semifinalists and one place higher in overall, so place 28 in overall. It's just because at least in the beginning of their participations, if we look at the years 2008, 2010, you can see that they actually had a really good result, place five in the semifinal place four in the semifinal even in 2015 with Nina Sublati. But in the last five years we can see Georgia was not even on the place 11, so not even really close to qualification. Will it be different this year? I think Georgia has a really good shot with such a talented singer. Last year Iru was also a super talented singer giving a really good song, but a very, very bad station choice. Unfortunately, her entry did not translate so well onto the Eurovision stage from the music video, which looked spectacular and after which I think everyone was pretty much sure that Georgia is in the Eurovision final. This year, I think Nutsa is such a talented artist with such a great team behind her that for sure they will ensure that her Eurovision live performance will be even better than the music video. So let's take a look what bookmakers think about Georgian entry this year. So as you can see on your screen, Georgia at the moment of filming of this video is ranked 15th from 36 entries, which kind of tells they should be in the final, but actually Iru had also approximately similar position in last year. So Georgia is behind entries like Norway, United Kingdom, Lithuania, Austria, but above Ireland, Finland, Armenia and Azerbaijan. I think this placing is, let's say, at its best a very positive one for Georgia. I don't think that this entry might finish in top 10. Of course, it all depends on her energy and maybe they will bring some really memorable, spectacular performance. I wouldn't exclude that because I think Nutsa, if she now goes to Eurovision, she will really bring a super powerful performance. But knowing how generally public tends to rate songs like that, if we think even about other Darko Dimitrov songs, Loco Loco, which was representing Serbia a couple of years ago, we can really see that entry like this will probably not be in top 10. I really hope for her that she will qualify to the final and will be able to finish on the 15th place. But now let's take a look what the Eurovision community thinks. So if we take a look at the Eurovision scoreboard, I'm actually, I would say, quite negatively surprised that Georgia is ranked just 19th. Normally, this type of the song, Eurovision fans really appreciate, rate really high, and then they are, you know, slightly disappointed that in the end it's not as high as they thought it will be. So place 19 actually means that Eurovision fandom is not really behind that, and Georgia will need to bring a performance which will grab attention of the uh, general televoters who are not as interested in Eurovision as maybe the people voting in the Eurovision scoreboard, because she will need their support. What kind of staging do you expect for the Georgian entry this year? I think music video gave us a couple of ideas. She was definitely playing a lot with fire, with some fierce dance. And as I said, her costumes were actually really on point and they just don't even have to change that. They can just take those. I really like the idea with the rain, which they were doing. However, I believe in the Eurovision stage, it's not allowed. I know in Melody Festival, and they were doing this quite often, but Eurovision, they have some issues with the water and rain, especially. I don't know who will be behind the Georgian performance production this year. I really hope they will get some experienced Swedish team like Sasha Jean Baptiste, who is generally helping out a lot of countries in Eurovision with their great performances. I really want Georgia to take this amazing chance which they have this year with Nutsa and show us that they can be in the final. So this is what I think about Georgian entry this year. But what do you think? Do you think Georgia finally deserves to be in the Eurovision final? Do you want to see the song in top 10? 
Do you think that it might even win and bring Eurovision to Tbilisi, Batumi or whatever other city in Georgia? Please let me know down below in the comments and I hope to see you in the next video.